this fat bee man back here in the bee lab. It's time of the year you need to check for swarms. And to do swarm uh, prevention, I've devised a way to tell when your hive's going to swarm. Now here is a frame that I put in the middle of a hive and what I try to teach is common sense beekeeping. If you have a hive and you're trying to make honey, you're going to have it in maximum production and it's going to be overcrowded. So the first indication of a hive that's going to swarm is right down here, if you can see, there's a lot of drone comb right through here. What I've done is I put a starter strip in here and I put this, I pull the frame out of the center of the hive and I drop this in the center. And I left it for about 8 to 10 days just to see what they would draw. Now, I do a lot of my own research <clears throat> and checking things out, what works and what don't work. And I haven't found anything in any book that tells you how to tell when a hive is going to swarm. But basically it's all common sense. When you see they're drawing drone comb, what they're going to do is they're going to swarm usually in two to three weeks. They're getting drones ready for flying out and mating. Now <clears throat> what I'm going to do is I'm going to get up and get the camera and try to get a real good close-up shot of this here <clears throat> so that you can see what's going on. Now, here is the frame. Now, if you can look, I'll hold it up to the light there. This is all drone comb. Now, a good hive, what they'll do is take from the top bar all the way down. They're going to draw good worker cells. You don't need comb in there. They don't build comb, they don't take comb <coughs> to a, a tree and build it. But this is my way of deciding how and when a hive is going to swarm. Now, <clears throat> in a deep hive, if they make good worker cells from the top bar all the way down to the bottom bar, that would be the bottom bar right there, and that's all worker cells, you have a good queen. Now, the second step to check this is put a shallow or a medium frame in a deep hive. Now, if they draw nothing but worker cells all the way inside the comb area or the frame area, then you've got a good queen. But from the bottom bar down, they start drawing drone comb. That's another indication they're about to leave. So they're getting preparation for getting drones. Now, in the natural, in the trees, they build worker comb everywhere. And if you've got a, a frame that's got nothing but worker cells, all nice, neat, uniform, what you got then is a good queen. From the bottom bar down, they end up making good cells. You have a good, decent queen. Now I'm back here trying to shoot this little video. I get a lot of requests on doing different things, but this is one way to check. Now you need to do manipulations of your hive to keep it from swarming. It has to be at maximum production and population in order to make your honey flow. And if you're letting your hive swarm, people like to, they don't want to get in their hive. And you need to go down inside all the way to the bottom board at least every two weeks. Check for queen cells. If you have a queen cell, put it in a nuke and make a split. That is nature's way. Bees are only going to do two things. They're not complicated. They multiply and they store honey. When they can't do those two things, the natural thing is subdivide and leave. So if you're trying to make honey and you're not getting in that hive and you don't want to disturb it, those bees are going to take a percentage of that honey and they're going to fly off with it. My idea is split the hive, make two or three splits off of it. You have two or three times more honey because you got two to three queens more than you had before. Now, <clears throat> I know that there's nobody that's got books out that's telling you these things. And a lot of things that you read is a bunch of blarney. I mean, there's people out there that write 
two, two paragraphs of truth and 25 paragraphs of BS so they can fill in the pages to sell you something. I'm not trying to sell you a thing. I'm just trying to pass on information. And if you can use it, it's, uh, and then pass it on to somebody else. Nobody wants to take the time nowadays to teach our younger generation. And we have as an art form here that's being lost. Now, I'll try to put up as many videos as I possibly can. I don't want to try to bore anybody with nonsense stuff. So what I put up there is stuff that's usable stuff. Appreciate you watching Fat Bee Man.